Hey everyone, what's up? I'm Brown Gaming, and this is more of an impromptu video. I don't really have a script written for it, as I just wanted this to be more raw, more real, just me talking about what concerns I have for the Super Mario Maker community. So if you like this type of video and want to see more, then uh, go ahead and let me know down in the comments, and by liking this video, that would probably help. But uh, as y'all know, Super Mario Maker has been out for a long time now, and it's gotten a lot of popularity. I've said it before in like previous videos where uh, apparently there are 7 million levels on Super Mario Maker servers, and that's a lot of levels. That's just the amount of levels that have been posted, the amount of, you know, just popularity from the Mario community has just been outstanding. I know that, like, a, and on top of that, there's a lot of YouTubers out there that their reputation, their, almost their whole entire YouTube career is based around that game. I know I'm one of those people, as, like, 80% of my subscribers only watch Mario Maker. So, uh, yeah, that's just, uh, it, it's a really popular game. And now, I'm not sure if you know, but around the year, around the year, one or two years after the Wii U was released, Nintendo shut down uh, some of the online services on the Wii. I think specifically the Weather Channel, the News Channel, etc. And then a f only a few months after that, Nintendo then sent out another email saying, Hey, we are canceling all online services for the Wii. Uh, this got a lot of people angry, mainly because there were a good amount of attractions for the Wii at that time that were mainly online, specifically Super Smash Bros. Brawl, Mario Kart Wii, etc. Uh, so, yeah, I know I was very annoyed when that happened, a lot of other people were too. And with the Switch coming out and been out a year, uh, you're wondering, leaves me wondering, I'm not sure if you guys wanted this, but is Nintendo going to do the same thing with the Wii U? And see, they've already started doing it. I could, it's, it's going in that trend, guys, because just a few months ago, as we all know, they cancelled Miiverse, and Miiverse was a very important online feature of the Wii U. So that leaves me thinking, oh crap, this is it just a few months that we have left for the Wii U online? And that would be more catastrophic than them shutting down the online services for the Wii, because there are two games that are almost solely devoted, that are almost solely based around online functions, specifically Splatoon and Super Mario Maker. Think about it, if they shut down the online services, we would be losing 7 million levels online in Super Mario Maker. That would, that would basically ruin my channel. I would lose a lot of viewers, other YouTubers would lose a lot of viewers because they can't showcase other Mario Maker levels anymore. And yeah, that would just be very catastrophic. And so... Nintendo has quite a number of options they can go with the future 2D platformers though. I'm going to back this up a bit here and uh, talk about like the newer j console gens and what games they all share. Uh, as you all know, uh, for the newer consoles that Nintendo have made, there's always been a new Super Mario Bros. game for those consoles. Specifically, for the DS, there was new Super Mario Bros. DS, 3DS, new Super Mario Bros. 2, the Wii, new Super Mario Bros. Wii, uh, and for the Wii U, new Super Mario Bros. U, and new Super Luigi U. And you notice they have not done that for the Switch yet. It was not a launch title, they haven't announced it for like 2018, 2019. And I think that's because they gave players all the tools they need in Super Mario Maker for like... ...having 2D platformer levels for the rest of their lives. For instance, they could announce, hey, we're doing a new Super Mario Bros. Switch for uh, the Switch in like 2018. And then people will come back and say, Oh, why would I want to play that when I can just make the levels in Super Mario Maker and play seven other million levels in Super Mario Maker that are probably maybe even better than you have in New Super Mario Bros. Switch. And so, that could be an incentive for them to shut down the Super Mario Maker servers, even though that would be catastrophic. Because if they did shut down the servers, that would probably get more people to buy Super Mario Bros. Switch, and I really hope that that doesn't happen. What I do hope, and I think that this is probably the best option for them right now, is that they make a Super Mario Maker 2. There was a lot of potential that they missed out on the original Super Mario Maker, a lot of room for improvement, uh, new bosses, more themes, etc. And if they just made a Super Mario Maker 2 for the Switch and added a lot more features, but not yet quite enough to where they could make it a Super Mario Maker 3 if they wanted for like their next console, I think that would be 
the best option and leave the Super Mario Maker 3 servers up. So that way they don't have their fan base getting mad at them because they have released an email just days beforehand saying, hey, we're shutting down all Super Mario Maker servers. They did that with like Miiverse, they did that with the Wii, they did that with streaming for their Nintendo Creators program. They've made a lot of bad decisions and I really, really hope that this new one, that they don't shut down the Wii servers because I feel like that would be another bad decision and that would just leave a lot, a lot of people really angry at Nintendo. And I've, I've been concerned for Nintendo for a while and that that's a whole another topic for like another video. I mean, that is my view on the situation. I'd love to hear what you guys' thoughts are. And hey, if you want more videos like this with like an impromptu script, then go ahead and tell me down in the comments and leave a like on this video. It really helps. And uh, stay tuned for more gaming content on my channel by clicking on that subscribe button and clicking on that bell to be notified whenever I go, whenever I go live. Anyways, thank you for watching and uh, Bramble Gaming, over and out.